I thought this was gonna be a lot easier to film. So welcome back to another Rob vlog. Today is my very official last day testing out the 2019 Miata MX-5 RF, which stands for retractable fastback. It's a convertible car. It's a two-seater. It's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful car. I had the wonderful opportunity to test it out. Care of Mazda USA. I thought it'd be fun if in a way taught you guys kind of how to drive a manual transmission absolutely love manual transmission cars when you're on the road and you're just switching gears there's nothing like it although it is a little bit more work but once you get used to it it's like muscle mass you just kind of know instinctively when to shift gear it's really just about balance and practice 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 you of course here have the gas pedal which is all the way to the right this is the brake right in the middle and then all the way to your left is the clutch it's a push to start engine so here is the emergency parking brake and here is the gear shifter so this one has six gears on it normally depending on what car it is like my car has five gears one which is all the way up straight two which is down three which is up to the right four which is down five is all the way up to the very right and then six is straight down now to put the car in reverse, you're going to push down on the knob on the gear shifter, push your left foot on the clutch, push the knob all the way to the left and then all the way up. This will activate the rear backup camera, which is a really, really good upgrade for the 2019 model. It's so great that they now have this because at least now when you're backing up, you can completely see everything. But of course, you still want to double check and make sure that there's nobody behind you. One of the key things that I think is most important is once you're actually starting the car, a lot of people tend to have, even myself, have trouble when you start the car and that's when you tend to stall. stall is kind of like when the car jerks and then it just completely stops that is normal I also do that up to now there's nothing really to be embarrassed about it but it's just really all about balance one of the first things you want to do is make sure that the emergency brake is all the way up you also want to make sure that the gear is in neutral once the gear is in neutral you want to push down on the brake and then press down on the clutch as well as press the engine you definitely want to make sure that you have your foot on the brake. Now, the next thing is to take down the emergency brake. The tricky part is really once you're in first gear and balancing the gas and the clutch because you have a tendency to at first ease off of the clutch and then you let go of it too quickly. And once you do, that's when the car starts to jerk, which I will show you. So take the gear, we're going to press down on the clutch on the left side we still have our right foot on the brake then we want to pop the gear into first and then you slowly want to ease off of the clutch and the brake and then you'll start to roll but you see watch if you kind of just let go of the clutch right away then your car will stall so again let's push down on the clutch and put it into neutral push down on the brake push down on the clutch Start up the car, pop it into first. We're going to take our foot off of the brake and then press on the gas slowly. Just like that. So it's kind of smooth. And then from here, what you want to do is you want to push down on the clutch with your left foot, then pop it into second gear. Just like that. I'm gonna be honest with you, I thought this was gonna be a lot easier to film, but there's just so many things to take into consideration, different camera angles and stuff, that it is a little bit difficult. But we are gonna do it. Here we go. So we're gonna release the emergency parking brake. We're going to put our foot on to the clutch, push it down. We have our right foot on the brake. Now we're gonna pop it into first, ease off of the brake, and then we're going to slowly push the gas. We're gonna slowly push the gas just like that. And we're actually coming to a stop. So we had to let go of the gas, push, push on the brake. And then now we're popping it back into the first gear, balancing it out. It's all about balance, right? And then now push down on the clutch 
and then we popped it into second. Now we're coming to another stop, so we're gonna push down on the clutch, and then we're gonna put this in neutral. All right, now we're going to pop it into the clutch. We're on first gear, and we're actually turning right now. Then we're gonna push on the clutch. We're basically just balancing the clutch, and now we're putting it into third gear. Push down on the clutch and then pop it down into fourth gear. Take our foot off of the brake and press the gas slowly while slowly also releasing the clutch. It's all about balance. So you're pressing the gas, lifting your foot off of the clutch, and now we can switch gears. So you're going to press on the clutch, switch the gear. Pop the clutch, put it into fifth, and then sixth. You can also downshift, and downshifting is it's pretty easy. Let me show you. Let's actually go turn here. So what we're going to do now is push down on our brake. We're going to push down on the clutch. We can pop it now into second to slow down the car, and then put it into neutral. Something that I think really scares a lot of people is when you're on a hill, which we are right now. Essentially, if you're parked on a hill, you're going to have your emergency parking brake up, correct? So this is also going to be in gear because you definitely don't want it to be in neutral. You want it to at least have some sort of force where it's locked. So we have it right now on first gear. So we're going to push down on the clutch, push on the brake, start up the car. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put it in neutral. Make sure your foot is still on the brake. You have to really give it that push so it doesn't have any time at all to roll back. Left foot on the clutch, pop it into first. Have your hand already on the emergency brake so that you can put it down. Now you want to take your foot off of the brake immediately and push it on the gas. Magic Mountain, you guys know this is like my favorite spot. Just got some B-roll, sun is about to set, and I think we're gonna head over to Six Flags to go on one ride. And we're back. I gotta say, that was so much fun driving the 2019 Miata MX-5. Just a little FYI, if you're curious about all the cameras and stuff, Everything was secure. I was not holding anything. Number one thing is definitely safety. So even the stuff I had, the camera mounts I had by my feet, those were all secured. They were Velcroed in. Highly, highly, highly recommend if you are ever curious about driving or learning how to drive a manual, tra manual transmission or if somebody is willing to teach you, I highly recommend that you learn. Telling you there's nothing like it. And once you learn how to drive a manual, it's like, you will always remember it. Such a cool experience. I mean, automatic is automatic, but manual, you know, there's a little something extra to it. I've had the opportunity to test out a couple of Miatas the past couple of years, and I would have to say my favorite, favorite feature out of this car is the backup camera. That was something I think I said in previous vlogs that was lacking in the car, and this one, it was just the cherry on top of the cake. Just so thankful and grateful to have been given the opportunity to test it out for a week. Thank you so much to Mazda USA. Today's chickies of the day from the previous raw vlogs goes to Sherry Williams. Glad you had a nice birthday, Christine. I don't feel my age either, and sometimes I get confused how old I am. Last year, it was funny because I actually added a year when someone asked how old I was, and then I stopped and thought, Wait a minute. To my happiness, I was a year younger rather than being a year older than I thought. LOL. Sherry, thank you so much for commenting, Sherry. And girl, I can feel you on that because sometimes I forget my age as well. Next chicky of the day goes to Yulko. I think it's U-L-K-O-M. 
KL. I don't like cheese, but the cheese bites look good. The cheese bites at Kicking Cajun are amazing. They are so, 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 so good. If you ever get a chance to go to Kicking Cajun, definitely get the cheese bites. I'm gonna end the raw vlog here. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you give this raw vlog a like. Subscribe if you already haven't to be a part of the Chicky Crew. I hope you guys have an amazing, wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next raw vlog.